Welcome to round five of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of May 20th. I'm Nicole Erdix, and I'm here with Terry Morrow. Hello. And Catherine Haleko. Hello. Today we're taking a break from talking and complaining and obsessing and instead shouting out some things other people are doing that we think you'll find as useful or enjoyable as we do. We call this our Roundabout Roundup. So who'd like to go first? (laughs) Catherine? Sure, I can go first. Um, I just thought I would mention a podcast. This it's been around for a while. It's not it's not new information. Um, But I finally, after you know, downloading a bunch of them over time, I I was like, you know, maybe I should subscribe. So um, it is called The Illusionist um, by a woman named Helen Zaltzman. Um, She's British, as Terry mentioned. (laughs) Be, um, to me before she enjoys yes. just listening to her accent i do true. I, but i enjoy her the content as well it's always very interesting yeah so it's all about language and words and and even names like last year she did a whole bunch of them yes. about names about that like people fun. who had unusual names people who changed their names i think i might have uh, mentioned that in the roundup maybe that's when you started listening to it oh maybe so um it's just really fascinating and they're pretty short, you know, they tend to be only maybe a half an hour or so. Um, and she gets really interesting guests and it's, it's a lot of fun. So, and I think they only, they maybe only come out every other week or it, what I'm saying is it's not a big commitment, <laughs> so, um, but it is enjoyable. So check out the illusionist podcast. All right. Cool. How about you, Terry? Well, I'm going to shout out today um, something that probably you all have maybe had with your doctors before, but I've never really had the chance to try it out. And that is like an online patient portal that has all your medical information on it from, from various exams and stuff like that. I love the idea. My personal doctor does not do it, at least that I've been able to see. Uh, My daughter started going to a a medical practice in town that does, and she's really enjoyed it. She can send messages to her doctor through it, which she does frequently and gets responses back. All her lab tests are there, all the notes from her visit she takes. I love that idea. I think that is so cool. So I started uh, taking my son to a doctor at this same practice who unfortunately seems to be a little less efficient in terms of posting stuff there, but we were able to exchange some information with him through the, uh, through the email system on it. And there are notes from his visit. And so now I know the date that he was there and the vitals of, of when he was there. And I I think this is such a great thing and I wish there was more of it. And I wish that all the information I wanted was there immediately, but still, um, now that I see what is possible with that sort of thing, I want it all immediately. Awesome. Do you guys have that with your doctors? Do they put information online? Yes. Yeah. They do, and I haven't actually taken the time to set up my... I love being able to make make appointments online and then find the information online, find the bills online, pay online, you know, go back and see when, when the visit was online. All this stuff has always been something that I've had to keep track of in my brain, and that was a bad system. So right. hooray for patient portals and doctors, please use them to their full capability. I know I've been using mine for years. I love it. Yeah. You really do need to get on it, Catherine. Yeah. That's good. Because you can send messages too. And, yes. You know, I know. Ask I about that's ask about my weird things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I was sending messages on behalf of my son and they weren't getting answered. And then they, they, they finally replied to him to it, something that I had signed my name to. So now I'm going to have to pretend to be him when I send messages, but that's cool. I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Better on a phone call. Easier than coaching him through a phone call. Yeah. No, I love <laughs> it. Um, and I want to shout out a TV show that I am obsessed with. <laughs> you absolutely have to watch it. It's such a good show. Yeah. It's um done. It's actually uh, through BBC. That BBC America, uh-huh. which has produced it, and you can access it on um, Amazon, Hulu, uh, YouTube. And the Google name of the show Play. is. And the name of the show is Killing Eve, and it's so good. It's um, about a two women. One is uh, like an FBI agent, and then the other one, and I shouldn't say FBI. It's like the the British version of the FBI. Um, 
And the other one is a, uh, oh my gosh, now I can't even, she's, she's like a, you know, hired killer. She, people <laughs> hire her. An assassin. Yes. yes. Sorry, that was sort of before. So she's an assassin. And so this, you know, they, the whole show is around this one woman, the, the agent trying to track down this other woman, the assassin. And, um, it just the dynamics of the show. So what the main character is Sandra O oh from Grey's Anatomy. Yes. Very and then happy the other her. character, I have never heard of her before. Her name is Jodie Comer and she plays the assassin and she is phenomenal. I mean, if she doesn't win an Emmy award or something like that, she is just so funny. Like she's an assassin and she does really bad things, but at the same time, she's funny and engaging <laughs> and you kind of like her character in a weird way. Uh-huh. And, um, but then she does these really random, drastic, surprising things. And you're like, oh yeah, yeah. And then you're, <laughs> you're supposed to like, you know, you remember that she is kind of yeah. like the bad person and all this, but she's hilarious. Like the, and the supporting characters are great. It's, I don't know. I, it's just another, <laughs> it's one of my new favorite shows and I, cool. yeah, I, they recommend it. So yeah, it's called Killing Eve. It gets 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. So there you go. Well, I wish it doesn't sound like the sort of thing I would enjoy, but I wish Sandra O. Well, so I'm happy to hear it liked and promoted. See, now if you like this kind of stuff, we could talk about it on another podcast. We could do like, you know, murder investigation. <laughs> we'll like bright, cheerful things like Bossy Burton. Right? Yeah. Well. <laughs> Well, that will be it for another week of Parenting Roundabout. If you miss any of our earlier episodes this week, look them up on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts to hear what we have to say about relating to teens, outsourcing parenting, writing our wills, and what we're watching on TV. You can also find all our episodes at ParentingRoundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter, where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. Have a great weekend and see you back here on Monday. <laughs>